Pokemon here to give you something more fun and today we're going to recover a new topic that is nouns. So it's obvious you might you guys already know what a noun is and um, what are all those types but still why don't we just go and revise it. So let's go and listen what it says. So as we said what are nouns? Well, you already know that nouns are name of a person, people, things, animal, or place. For example, you can give it as Mia or Paris, or you can give um, a thing like a book. See, um, an animal like a zebra and all. So those are nouns. Well, um, for example, your name is a noun, but you are not a noun. See, um, you're just a human, but your name is a noun. So just keep that in mind, because that is a point that you should remember all the time. And the next thing is that, um, so if you're going to parts of nouns, nouns are of different types. So first, we're gonna learn concrete noun. So what are concrete noun? Well, these nouns are normally the nouns that we can see, touch, feel, that we can sense. Like we can smell. Yeah. Um, maybe there can be examples. Yeah, there are examples like fragrance that we can smell and we can see a color or maybe something else uh, like a pen or something that we can feel like we can take it, um, a pen you could say and those can be examples so these nouns are basically things that you can see well, totally different from the other nouns and the second noun is the abstract noun well these nouns are mainly meant to be emotions, feelings or qualities well, mainly the point is that they cannot be sensed. For example, it might be kindness or it might be an idea you might get or maybe like we say or the word information. So these are abstract nouns. So our next noun is the common noun. Well, common nouns are things that are in common. They are names of people, places, animal or thing. They just define all them. Well, like we say a city, or maybe we say a woman, or we say a dog. They're just telling what type of animal, or what type of person, or what type of place it is. But we're not specifying. So that is the main thing that we should check. Because common nouns are everything that we know. It only tells what kind of uh, place, thing, animal, or anything, but it doesn't specify it. So, why don't we go with a common noun? The right opposite thing is the proper noun, because proper nouns uh, tells us names about uh, people, places, things, or uh, animals that are in particular. You might get it like, as I said, a woman, you could tell that's a smith. So we gave a name to the woman, so that became a proper noun. Or if we said um, a dog, we can give it Leica, the Russian dog who went to space. So that's Leica. So let's give a name to a place like, um, yeah, Paris. Okay, so those are proper nouns. So while we get um, a difference between all these nouns, you might know the classification of these nouns. And I think you might know what type of nouns all are, all these are. And you don't have to worry because as I'm saying it again and again, it's only for your good and my good. And um, if you didn't understand anything or you have to revise the concept, then just go and take back to the concept that you want to learn, revise it and Again, sit in a quiet place, sit in a calm place that can give you a, an ambition of learning. And back to the topics. So those are nouns. And you heard the four types of nouns. And uh, let's 
recall what those nouns were. One, abstract nouns. These nouns cannot be sensed. And uh, two, concrete nouns. These nouns can be sensed, like normal things. And uh, the common nouns, well, these nouns are general common things, but not things specific. It just tells what type. And the last thing is the proper nouns, which gives us a specific information or it tells us the specific person, place, animal, or things. So that's today's topic, guys. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, don't forget to click on the like button. And if you want to get more videos like I have, many of them like a mini one hour video of telling you math. That's a lot. Well, only about information and I have uploaded like Nature's Day or maybe Teacher's Day on all those and if you want to get fun videos like Rubik's Cube solvings, all those are found on my channel so why don't you go click that red color subscribe button and then you go to our channel, go on all the videos and if you like those, don't forget to give them a big thumbs up. If you want to get, or if you're really interested, then you can click on the bell icon so that you may get more videos that I will upload. So guys, that's it for today, and those were nouns. Bye-bye!